Podcast Man. Welcome back to Wally's World of Fishing. Today I'm going to review the Stingray XR3 Senior Hydrofoil. That's this little beauty here. Now before I make a long video about all the reasons why you should or shouldn't buy it, just let me tell you straight off the bat. If you're thinking of buying one of these, please don't. And here are the reasons why. I've got a brand new Ocean Master Enterprise 590 with a 175 Yamaha output on the back. Now keep in mind, I'm still running this motor in and it hasn't done 10 hours yet. So as I'm cruising along at 2000 RPM with this beautiful hydrofoil on the back, I noticed that I was getting an improvement of about six to seven kilometers per hour at 2000 RPM. And the boat was planing much quicker and it sat nicely in the, in the water. It eliminated the porpoising. I was absolutely wrapped. However, when I got back to the boat ramp and put the boat back on the trailer, I noticed the beautiful gold emblem was missing. And also the caps that cover the bolts on the front here. So when I got home, I sent an email to John at Stingray. And in all fairness, John got back to me really quickly and advised me that sometimes these caps go missing and maybe the emblem wasn't pressed on properly and that he was gonna send me some new ones, which I was very grateful for. And this was about two months ago and I haven't received them yet, but I'm not gonna blame him for it. I understand there's a lot of uh, freight issues with regards to COVID and, this, and the scenario that we're living in today. The second time that I took the boat out with this hydrofoil, I noticed the boat was handling in an unusual way. It was biting too hard to the left or to the right every time I made the slightest, the slightest manoeuvre. And when I got the boat back on the trailer, I noticed that the bolts at the front here had loosened up a bit and the hydrofoil was moving left and right on the motor here. So I tightened them back up, I tightened them back up and took it out again. Mind you, I did send Stingray an email as well and they advised me, I asked them if I should use Loctite to keep the, to keep the bolts in position and they said to me, no, you don't need to use Loctite because they have a nylock which comes with it. You just need to tighten down on them good. So I did, took it out again, same thing happened. So I took the initiative and I used a bit of Loctite to keep the, <laughs> to keep the bolts in, pos in position. Now, on the third trip or the fourth trip that I took it out, I started to open up the motor a little bit, up to about 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. Now, believe it or not, it handled lovely. I really enjoyed it. Got on the plane quickly, it was, it was sitting beautifully in the water. However, when I got back to shore and I put the boat back on the trailer, I noticed this big huge crack here at the front of the hydrofoil. And as you can see, I don't think there's any coming back from this. And if it can't handle, it can't handle the speed of the boat at 4,000 RPM, then I just think this isn't a good quality product. So as you can see, this isn't a very good quality product at all. I recommend you stay clear of this XR3 Senior Hydrofoil. This is absolutely rubbish. I'm not bagging Stingray. The other products that I've used of theirs have been absolutely fantastic. However, this model in particular, coming straight from me, it is absolute rubbish. Please do not buy. Save your money. Invest in some trim tabs. If you can't afford trim tabs, save up for them and buy them when you can. This is another handy tip from Wally's World of Fishing.